Next video. Good job. You made it. We're on page three in the bottom. And now we're going to start switching gears a little bit. Not really switching gears. We're going to talk about nuclear atomic structure. We're going to work, work our way towards modern theories uh, where we have a nuclear atom. How about particles smaller than atom? Can you think of any? List them here. A little brainstorming. The three, and so you can press pause actually and work in your groups of four. And you can come up with these. All right. Uh, presuming that you're done with that, I want you to get some up, not on the board, but into your notes. This is a brainstorming thing, things that are smaller than an atom. So you can press pause and do that again. Now there are three main subatomic particles. Normally I do this as a big exercise uh, together. Unfortunately, just the way the video is, it's not going to happen that way. So we're going to list them uh, with mass and charge and their location as well. We have protons. Where are those located? Those are in the nucleus, okay. And their charge is positive one, and they weigh one atomic mass unit. That is actually a certain number of grams, but it's so small they came up with a new unit called AMU. Sometimes it's actually even just U, um, just so you know that either one, either one is acceptable, um, but AMU is one that we'll use in class primarily. Next one, not that they're in any necessary order, but the next one is neutron. That's also in the nucleus. I know this is not really so new for you. Charge is zero. Get it? Neutron. Neutral charge. Zero. That's why it's called a neutron. And it also happens to weigh one AMU. And then there is the electron. These are the three main ones that we're going to be talking about. They are outside the nucleus. Oops. Their charge is negative one, and they weigh essentially zero AMU. It's actually one eighteen fortieth of an AMU, um, but that's essentially an amount that you can neglect. So don't worry about that. So you make a little chart, or you can have it as a list like this. Um, there are the four things, the name of it, the location, the charge, and the mass. How did we figure this out? So the first person to go figure it out was, uh, to begin to figure it all out, was J.J. Thompson. And he did something called the cathode ray experiment. And for that experiment, there is a link on the subplan that you're going to go to, and you're going to watch a YouTube video about the J.J. Thompson uh, cathode ray experiments. And you can press pause, and you can go watch that now. Have fun. Okay. Welcome back to the video. Uh, did you learn what he what he discovered? He discovered that the cathode ray was negatively charged, and so he decided that the elementary piece of that negative charge he was going to call an electron. So that was J.J. Thompson, big deal, and that was J.J. Thompson's contribution. Next up, page four, is Robert Millikan. Millikan had an oil drop experiment, and we can talk about that in a little while, maybe when we're together. Um, he used something called an atomizer, which sounds really funky, but it's actually just like one of those, you know, those old um, perfume things that had a little push that would go, right, when you push the uh, bulb on the edge. That's an atomizer. So he made a very fine mist of oil drops. And passing that through an electric field, he was actually able to determine a set of experiments we're not going to discuss in depth. He determined the quantity of charge on an electron. And that was his big contribution. The other subatomic particles beside the electron, which is all we've talked about so far, those be the protons and neutrons, like we talked about already. And they have a cool name because they together can be called nucleons because they're the ons in the nucleus, get it? Nucleons, proton, neutron, they're the ons in the nucleus. So that's why they're called nucleons. So where are they located in the nucleus? And that brings us to uh, a Nobel Prize winner, Ernest Rutherford, for probably the most famous experiment that resulted in un our understanding of um, the structure of an uh, atom, and that is the nuclear structure of an atom. And this link right here, should be opened in Microsoft Internet Explorer, not in Chrome, it doesn't work, but open it up in Internet Explorer in Flash, and you should be able to go 
look at Ernest Rutherford's experiment. And that's probably the most important one to look at. So take a peek at that now. And I want you to write your observations, if you can, and certainly your conclusions, the two main pieces of Rutherford's atomic model. We'll take care of that uh, when I get back. Thanks so much. Bye.